This is a video from eSkills Zone. For more videos, notes, and certificates, please visit www.eskillszone.com. Hello and welcome. Hi, viewers. Today in this video, we will discuss random files and file handling in GWBC programming language. So let's start with the solution to the problem you are working with deals with directly accessing a particular record in a file then the most efficient algorithm to use would involve using a random file access method. As previously mentioned, random files have the capability of accessing a record within a file without the need to access all preceding records like in sequential file. Specifying that a file be treated as random uses a form similar to when specifying different mode operations for a sequential file. As with all file types, the first thing the programmer must do before attempting to use the file to open it the form of opening a random file is as follows so I'm going to type the format of opening a random file and is like first we'll type the open statement reserve statement then we will type the file name that must be enclosed in the double quotes close dot ext stands for the extension of the file for the purpose i is random since the file will be open for a random as a random file so we'll write for random as hash buffer will be typed in column bracket buffer and then len length of that len equal to len record record variable this is the format which you should be followed in order to open a file as a random file So I'm going to highlight it, making it bold like this. Okay. So now we'll discuss that. Notice that we opened 
the file as being random and a buffer file number is used as usual if this does not look normal the major difference is the len len equal to len len function initialization the argument record variable that is sent into the LAN function is a variable of a record type the LAN function will return the size of record variable in order to allocate space for each record to be stored in the file now we will discuss today like random files we'll discuss writing or sorting records so let's discuss that topic as well in today's topic and that is writing or sorting records when dealing with random files you can't send data from each field in a record one by one into the file instead random files let you send the contents of the entire record to the file in one statement this is accomplished by using the put statement and the put statement also specifies the location in the file where the record is being sent the put statement has the following form first we will write put and then hash and then buffer record number 
record variable This is how we use a put statement which specifies the location from where the record is being sent in order to writing and sorting records by using the random files. In the above statement the buffer file number must be first specified number of the record or the location of the record to be placed in the file is next and finally the actual record variable is specified so the program knows which record to send to the file now we will discuss the reading records after discussing the writing or sorting records, we will discuss reading records. The complete opposite operation of the put statement would be no would be to retrieve or get data contained in a data file basic has a built-in function to handle this situation also it is called get and has a form identical to the put statement the form of the get statement is as follows get hash buffer record number record variable when using The get statement any record can be directly accessed by 
specifying the records number or location file number this is what makes random files much more powerful than sequential files we can create random file but at this stage it is beyond this scope so that's all viewers we discussed today first random files what are random files and how they can be opened like with the help of open command and then we can write for random as buffer number len is the function and the initialization major difference of the len function is this that then function will return the size of the record variable in order to allocate space for each record to be stored in the file and the second topic we discussed today is the writing or sorting records which can be used with the help of the put statement and then you can write type comma record number record variable so the last one was the reading records which was complete in the opposite direction of the put statement and it is known as get statements reading records can be done with the help of the get statement and again by typing the hash in the buffer number record number and record variable so this get statement can be used to directly access by specifying the record number file location number so random files are much powerful than the sequential files very important topic because the random file does not need to be accessed file one after the another record because direct random files always can be accessed directly so they are more powerful than the sequential files very important topic this question can be asked as in mcqs or in film dance true or false so we should know all this very well so that's all viewers thanks for watching in our next videos we will discuss more topic of file handling in gw basic programming language Thanks for watching. Wow.